Hey guys, this is an update to the Ronald uh, Adam Rapico story, the guy that won 50k for getting pepper sprayed by a cop and then took off down to Mexico and uh, was unalive down there with him and his girlfriend. They were both found that way. It's confirmed that it was an overdose. I found a bunch of news articles that uh, different uh, subscribers sent to me about the guy. And one of them, Erica, sent me this uh, news clip of what the reason they were in Mexico for. They were running, they were both wanted for molesting a 15-year-old girl. You gotta check this out. It's a sick story, folks. Adam, do you have anything to say? Just a case of the police out to get me. Never one to shy away from the cameras, or the police for that matter, Adam Rupika finds himself in the back of a police cruiser again. This time, though, the charges against him are on a different field than the ones he's recently dealt with. Charges like this, they're, they're kind of despicable, really. Rapika and his girlfriend, Jennifer Ogburn of Hudson, were alleged to have touched a 15-year-old girl in their house Friday night. They were brought in and charged with sex assault in the third degree, endangering the welfare of a child, and forcible touching. The victim was, uh, you know, had enough strength in herself to, uh, to be able to get out of the situation and, uh, and call an adult and, and have that person and her brought here. It's a terrible incident that happened. I mean, we certainly feel for the victim and we'll do everything that we can for the victim. Rapika has been arrested in two other cases in the capital region in the past year, including flying a drone into the chimney of the state capital and for provoking a Saratoga Springs police officer who pepper sprayed him, an act that would lead that officer into a civil lawsuit and eventually he would resign. Rapika's cry to the media saying police are out to get him is nothing Captain Daniel DeWolf will worry about. That's certainly not the case. Uh, you know, we were acting upon a, um, a complaint that was made by a 15-year-old victim, um, and, and that's, that's the way we conduct our business. Captain DeWolf would not comment on any relation between the victim and Ogburn or Rupika, or if there is any at all. He also said they're treating this case just like they would any other case, regardless of Rupika's past notoriety with local law enforcement. Another uh, subscriber sent this uh, article from a uh, Troy newspaper and uh, news service. And it says, uh, let me see, Troy, New York, News now 10, News 10, a police watchdog is now on the run, is said to have been found deceased in Mexico. Adam Rapika and his girlfriend Jennifer Ogburn went on the run after facing charges involving alleged sexual abuse of a 15-year-old girl. Rupika was best known for his videotaped confrontation with police. Cops call him an anti antagonizing call him antagonizing. The Troy man was pepper sprayed in March of 2015, 2015 after giving a Saratoga Springs police officer the middle finger. So that seems to be the whole story. I had several other people send me articles all similar to this. Uh, this was the one that actually mentioned that he was on the run in Mexico. And that's where the tragedy took place. If you want to consider it a tragedy, anybody who uh, uh, abuses children, uh, it's not tragic when something bad happens to them, in my opinion. But, you know, whatever. Anyway, that's the story, folks, and I'm sticking to it. Thank you all for sending all the information. I asked if anybody had any information on it. Boy, and I got like 10 different emails with different stories and stuff. It's all pretty much the same thing. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you. Love you all. Bye.